So in today's video, I actually want to take apart this Golden Mate Orion 1000. This is a new battery that was sent to me and I did a video about this just recently on its capacity. It did great capacity wise. So now I wanna go ahead and open this thing up. What's wonderful about this battery specifically is it has these little rubber dust covers on all the holes to protect the screws that are underneath. But instead of it being all glued and you have to break the case and, and tear it apart to get to it, it is screwed together, very easy to pull apart. I mean, I just like the way they did these batteries. So I wanted to take this one apart to see how well this one was put together. I, Like I said, I took the dust covers off and I got the screws out just because I was curious to find out if that's actually as simple as it was going to be. And it is. So now that it's loose, let's go ahead and open the top and see what's inside. I don't want to damage the battery because I do use these batteries. I'm not just here to tear them apart and uh, then throw them away. I use all the batteries that I have. There are a lot of connectors in there and I would have to take those connectors off. So I'm just going to kind of set this aside. This is the part numbers and everything that you would see for the battery. Let's see. The connectors are all labeled well. The BMS on this looks great. I mean, it doesn't look like a very cheap BMS. This looks like a nice high quality BMS. Again, I don't know a lot about it. This is kind of new to me when it comes to breaking open these batteries. Yeah, it's got nice connectors, nice large BMS. It's not one of those tiny little ones that you see uh, that are, all, again, covered in adhesive. Massive bus bars back there in the back. I mean, those are some really thick metal bus bars. And all of the batteries are bolted in. Let me take this camera off the tripod and let you see inside of here. The battery packs are bolted in and in this kind of like, structure here and then if you see here it's it's empty so it's not like just filled up with glue and all of that in here very nice and clean so if for some reason you wanted to come in here and actually take this thing apart you know 10 years down the line you may be looking at repairing something in it and you've got a very usable setup here in a case here and these are cylinder if you look over here they're cylinder cells they're rounded battery shaped cells. So your standard cylinder cells put together to create the voltage you need and the capacity you need. And again, all very clean. Really like this, really like the clean install. So I don't know how super helpful me taking these things apart is, but here again is all the information. Here's the stickers that were on it. I don't see any specific model numbers on this thing there's those big thick bus bars on it really nice terminals there for the battery and the power um but that's it that's all i see right here on top and again clean all the way around so this is the second battery that i've actually went in and opened up and by far the neatest cleanest setup that i've seen so I hope this information was helpful. Let me know down in the comments if there's more that you want to see. I already did a capacity test on it. You know, we could probably go in and test some of the probes and things like that if you are interested in that. Like I said, you could just unscrew it. I can put this thing back together after opening it up and it will be just like new. So really like what they did here. Definitely give it a thumbs up. Check it out. And again, put more information down in the comments. Anything you want to see in these type of videos, let me know. Like I said, I'm not a big teardown person when it comes to batteries, but if that's what y'all want to see and you want to know what's inside these batteries, well, let me know and I'll start cracking them open. All right. Thank y'all very much for watching. Take care.